combat machine fails, what do we do then? What do I do? You grab the biggest gun you can get your hands on and... Say hello to my little friend! All your show are belonging to us. Welcome to All Your Show Are Belong To Us, home of the Viewers Review. I'm Fair Wizard 16 And I'm Eyes Epic Blue. And today, we're going to be reviewing Crisis 3. Mm -hmm. What are we using for uh, points? Nanopacks. Nanopacks. Nanopacks it is. Oh, why not? Nanopacks sounds good. <laughs> I'm Troy Dracius. I'm Hot. Wait. I'm Dvorif. No, something, something's still off. Hold on, hold on. How about now? No, you're still missing something. I'm the voice, uh, man. Come on. What? No, you're not. You're not obnoxious enough. You're not loud enough. I'm the voice. You... I'm an airplane. I play inverted. So, Crisis 3 is very much like the first two Crisis games. You hunt down enemies. You grind to get uh, upgrades. You discover secrets. So, pretty simple with a few extra twists. From assassinations in the darkness. To fistfights with commandos. To hacking computers and turrets to fight for you. Fun galore. So the concept is uh, pretty straightforward. It's another first-person shooter. The game keeps its basic, basic functions while adding in something new. Concept gets four nano suits. Are you ready to have your mind blown? Okay, so not that blown. But in all seriousness, the graphics in this game are as visually appealing as they've ever been. The movement and the environment, including the clothes, the shadows, I mean, even the people walking in the water, it flows and just gives a realistic look to the world around you. In all honesty, there there really isn't visually anything all that bad in this game. Well, there are all those times where you shoot a bad guy in the head with an arrow and he goes flying across your screen. Yeah, or those times when you like shoot an enemy and they stick into the wall and then they start doing the Harlem Shake. <laughs> oh geez, no, no, no. Please don't. All right. No, no more Harlem Shake. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. That's pretty much for visuals. They got four out of five. <laughs> now, let's talk about music and sounds. It's epically explorerific. Google it. Just listen. So, you don't get the same feeling now that you will when you play the game. But when you play, you will be drawn in because of the music. Crytek did an amazing job in making the music flow well with the game. Yeah, they did. From quiet moments to epitastic battle scenes. But unfortunately, from time to time, the music will cut out for a split second. So unless you focus on the music, it's something you're just gonna miss. Don't worry about it. Now let's talk guns. I got them, you need them. Each weapon, from the pistol to a high-powered saw machine gun, has their own unique sound to them. Even when you equip some guns with silencers, they still have their own distinct sounds. Now the Predator bow is an amazement in and of itself. When you set that bow setting to a higher low tension, oh, you hear that difference every time you draw back. So, with the music being epic fantastic, and the guns having their own unique sounds to it, we give audio four nanopacks. Are you ready for a fight? Or assassination? Or hacking? Well, you're in luck because the game is a control aid. Aside from the training level that you get in the beginning of the game, throughout this game, the suit actually helps for everything that you want to do. Whether it's item pickup or assassination timing or info on guns and weapons, the control factor is easy and it's quick to pick up. So in Crisis 3, there are plenty of guns to choose from, but you have to decide which ones do you really want to use. This game is not like other generic first-person shooters where you can carry every gun you can find on the map. You only have two slots that you can use, so choose wisely. Yeah, this is not like, ooh, there's a gun. Ooh, there's a gun. Ooh, ooh there's king. a gun. Ooh, yeah, piece of king. Yeah. <laughs> so a solid gameplay variation in the nano suit, and with the amount of guns that you can use or not use, however you choose, we give gameplay four nano Packs, right? Pack. Okay, time for the series to come up to its final close. Or is it? In the game, you play as Prophet, on a mission to save mankind and to have a final showdown with the Alpha Seth. And to make him sound more pathetic, prophetic, he has visions of what would happen if he fails his mission. Creepy. 
Throughout the game, you come across new friends and allies, and old ones as well. Including Psycho. He really does live up to his name. Yeah. See? Good old friends. In the game, you see through the eyes of a man who's trying to bring down the alien's power. But really, who isn't these days? That is true. You can't help but actually feel what it's like to hunt down your enemies and also to aid your allies. Now, even though the story is really good in its aspects, throughout the entire series of the game, there have been many holes of empty information, such as, what happened to Nomad? All I know is that he was technically killed off by Cell. But quite honestly, I think he's still alive. Reason being is because when Prophet got the dog tags of parts of his Raptor Team crew, he only got three of them. Well, we give story four. Four uh, nanopacks. Four nanopacks. Four nanopacks. All right, now let's talk replay. 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 Okay, seriously? Replay for all you is in. In the game after you beat it, you keep your nanosuit's power-ups. Cool, huh? Well, not unless you try different combinations and a new skill level. For example, instead of playing on easy, where you can run and gun everything, to switching to everything to hard mode, where your ammo is limited and your kills are not as easily done. It's true, the storyline doesn't change, but how you operate in the game does. So in one game, you can be a macho gunslinger. Or you can be a ninja that can never be seen. It's your choice. Replay value gets five nanopacks. All right, minions, are you ready for the best part about this? The most epically awesomeness? Yeah, it's not there. Why? As much as I love the game, it doesn't have a co-op on it. Yes, there is a multiplayer option, but no one else has been able to play with me. I blame you, crew. We can't really give a score on this because we weren't able to play it. So therefore, we look to you, YouTubers and gamers. If you have a review or if you have a score for multiplayer, give it to us. We want to hear your opinions on it. Badly. Very badly. All right, let's sum up. Concept, 4 out of 5. Visuals, 4 out of 5. Audio, 4 out of 5. Gameplay, 4 out of 5. Story, 4 out of 5. Replay value, 5 out of 5. And multiplayer, uh, we don't know yet. So, with the score, that was a lot of 4s. Yeah, it was. I guess this game is slightly above average. So, Just... with, with the total score of 25, uh, we say go pick up the game, especially if you're a fan of the series. And to pick up your copy, head on down to All Your Base, our belong to us. Where they buy, sell, trade, use video games. Best prices in town. So, what did you guys think? Have you played the game yet? Leave us a comment down below and let us know. Be also sure to... Be also sure? Yep. Be also sure. Be also be sure... I'll... <laughs> you got this. <laughs> Look, just subscribe, okay? <laughs> <laughs> subscribe. Like, favorite, like us on Facebook, that kind of thing. Go, go check go check out the next game we're gonna review. Yeah. This video right here. Come by, check it out. <laughs> and be sure to <laughs> You've got it! You've got the curse! You're welcome. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to be part of our upcoming reviews, go ahead, videotape yourself, send it, upload it to YouTube, send us the link, and you could be part of the show. Anyway, I'm Pharaoh Wizard 16. And I'm Eyes Epic Blue. And you can't stop the bum rush. And you must never hesitate. Hesitate. <laughs> hesitate. Ha <laughs> ha